hey guys welcome back to our youtube channel to go for back with another reaction video if you're new welcome if you're not welcome back thank you for 20,000 subscribers keep subscribing keep liking keep commenting and please continue to motivate me by giving me stuff to react to i'm going to be reacting to contradictions of eight days creation in the quran so without wasting time let's get into the video Which is, uh, from your point of view, which is God's word? The Quran or the Bible? <laughs> I'd, like to, uh, I'd like him to answer the first question, yes. then I'll give the yes. next question. You see, you are like the young man. I was telling my friend Brian, you're the first questioner. I was telling him before coming in. I said, amazing situation. You see, you tell a fellow story about Romeo and Julie. You heard about Romeo and Julie? Yes. We have Layla Majnoon, you know, Layla Majnoon. Layla, Layla means she was a black as night and Majnoon was mad over this woman. See? So, whole night you're telling the story about Layla Majnoon or Romeo and Julie. In the morning, the clever fellow is asking whether Romeo was a boy or a girl. <laughs> whole night you heard the story. I'm telling you, explaining to you that the, Quran, the Bible is not the word of God, the Quran is the word of God, and now you're asking me, <laughs> which is the word of God? Okay, I accept that, right? You said that the Quran is the word of God. Yes. Then explain this to me, Surah 41, 9 and 12. We read that the world was created in eight days, but we read in Surah 754 that the world was created in six days. Explain that to me. Thank you. That's the last question. Right. This, is, this was really a question. That's the only question tonight. First question. We must give him another applause. Please. Salama. I'm answering that brother there. I said, this was the first question tonight by God. He said, you see the Quran, we mentioned in the Quran just now, I read to you that the Bible says that God created the heavens and the earth in six days, the Quran says created in six days, the days are, we won't go into details, six days, six days. He quotes another chapter, chapter 41, verses so and so, 9, 10, 11, 12. He said, it says, God created the heavens and the earth in eight days. Now, he hasn't read, he's reading, thumb sucking from somebody, somebody told him so, and he uttered the words. If he saw the Quran, the Quran doesn't say anywhere that God created the heavens and the earth in eight days. Never. No, no, no. No, no. But look, there is some, some, there is some basis for his question. The Quran doesn't say. You see, like what I said, one, none. That's a contradiction. Four, four or forty, that's a contradiction. If the Quran said six, eight, also contradiction, we'll have to admit. But the Quran doesn't talk like that at all. He doesn't talk like that at all. You see, he's tongue sucking from what somebody said. He doesn't know. If I give him the Quran, he can never find it. See, he will be able to read that God created the earth in two days and the earth and everything else in four days and he created the heavens in two days. That's how the Quran speaks. Two, four, two. So he says eight. You see, these are stages, stages God is talking about, that the earth itself, He started the creation, two periods of time, two eons, two stupendous periods of time, the earth. And side by side with the thing that went on to earth, this creation, this foundation of the earth, and this, that took four days. Alone, this work took two days, this and that put together took four days. And the rest, another two days, eons, periods of time. So now they said, you see, two, four, two, that makes eight. I says, no, 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 no. He didn't say eight. Now he's explaining to you how you are getting it wrong. And if he was here, this young man, I would have done him a favor. I said, look, man, I want to give you some money. He deserves it. Look, he was the only first man to ask question. If he's here, okay, if he can come forward, I'll be very happy. While the other brother is asking the question, please come forward, I have something for you. And I'll give it to you by God. Come, come forward. The young man, don't feel shy. Where is that young man? I hope he hasn't gone away. 
Come, come, come. Come, come, my son. Come. Please, you deserve this. Please come, come up here. So now this young man here, I said he deserves a prize. I have with me three two round notes. I know it's not very much. Three two round notes. And I want to present it to him. So I said, here my son, two. Hold it, hold it. Two. Four. Right? Another two. How many did I give you? I give you eight. <laughs> it will mean that when the earth and the mountains were created in six days, simultaneously the heavens were created in two days. For example, suppose a builder, he gives in his brochure that I have constructed a 10-story building along with its surrounding and compound wall in six months. When a person wants to buy a flat in that building, he goes to the builder and, and he asks for more details. So the builder says, it took me two months to make the basement of the building and another four months to make the 10-story. And while I was building the basement and the story, I simultaneously build the compound wall and the surrounding in two months. It's possible. So then he's not contradicting. Total comes to yes, six months. So similarly, when Surah Fusila chapter 41, verse number 9 to 12, it says that while the earth was created along with the mountain in six days, simultaneously the heavens was created in two days. There's no contradiction. أَفَلَا يَتَدَبَّرُونَ الْقُرْآنَ وَلَوْ كَانَ مِنْ عِنْدِ غَيْرِ اللَّهِ لَوَجَدُوا فِيهِ اخْتِلَافًا كَثِيرًا قُلْ لَئِنِ اجْتَمَعَتِ الْإِنْسُ وَالْجِنُّ عَلَىٰ أَنْ يَأْتُوا بِمِثْلِ هَذَا الْقُرْآنَ لا يأتون بمثله ولو كان بعضهم لبعض ظهيرا Amit did that videos just fill my heart with joy they just I don't know I really wish I lived in a time where he was still alive so that I can meet him because I feel like he had so much love to give he knows how to relate with people you know and um it's interesting it's really really interesting to watch it's quite something um concerning the issue at hand i'm still confused so in how many days was did this creation of earth and everything on it take place because there's a passage here that I've read, a verse, that ha that is saying six days and he sat on his throne. So was the world created in six days? Is it seven days? Is it, of course, clearly it's not eight days. So what exactly is the answer to that? Otherwise, I really just enjoyed watching this. I really, really enjoyed watching this. And other than the six days, there's also a mention of two days. I'm trying to understand okay i'm trying to not confuse myself so what exactly do muslims believe 
is it the creation of the entire world and everything else that was created in six days the seventh he was resting or he was he sat on his throne is it two days what exactly because i'm trying to understand what this question that what this question is about contradiction of eight days creation in the quran is it about the earth is it about the skies is it about the what what exactly is the situation but for me i want to know how long earth and everything created in it the universe everything how long it took for that creation for the entire creation of the world anyway to be created i would really really love an answer to that i don't have much to say because i enjoyed this enjoyed how everything was done by I mean, did that let me know your thoughts if there's something you want me to react to let me know by dropping the comments rather the link to whatever you want me to react to down below or the name down below and i'll check it out make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next reaction video